Welcome back to the shop. I am a Makita guy. I'm not exactly sure how I ended up being a Makita guy. I've got DeWalt, I've got Milwaukee, but but by and large, most everything I have that's cordless is Makita, including the household vacuum. This this little dustbuster style thing is handy for maintaining. It is not necessarily a deep cleaning tool, but for running around picking up odds and ends inside the house. You know, Catherine loves it. This thing has got a million hours on it. It's been a great tool, and it's got this vacuum chamber type thing in here that that collects most of the dirt before it gets into the, the main chamber, even though you can use it either way. What I'm going to show you today is how to clean it. I don't believe there was much in the way of instructions. So, for those of you that have this, it's it's one of those tools that it uh, can be pretty pricey when you look at it online, but occasionally there's deals. But it doesn't. It's a handy tool. This is nice because it's not clogging up the filters all the time. So that's easy enough to snap off. But what's not necessarily intuitive when you have this is that this section comes out. And you can pull out quite a bit of debris from inside of this, this knob section. You pull that out. You might need a set of hemostats or something to get down in there and pull out any additional garbage it might be in there or pencil would work so as the as the air comes through there's a, a hole there but this will catch leaves and everything so ultimately what's very handy for cleaning this out if you have it is compressed air and you go back through and just blow out all the ports. Snap this section back in. And that's clear. Now the main body of this... Ah, should have done. It typically has a sock over the top of it. But you don't need it with this, this other Venturi section. But there's a, a filter that sits in front of the impeller. And you'll want to clean that out. Again, compressed air is your friend. That keeps the chunks out of the motor. But in addition to doing that, there's quite a bit of air movement going through these little fins. I don't know if you can see the amount of dust and soot coming out of there. So now that that's all blown out, you reinsert your pre-filter, or post-filter, whatever you call this. Snaps down in there. The body. Chamber. It's locked in there tight. This is an indispensable tool. Like I said earlier, there's certain times you can find it on sale. I think the, the whole tool with this thing was a... I wouldn't pay more than $100 for it. I think it's what I paid for it. Again, very handy for just cleaning up small messes around the house and in the workshop if it's real clean. Uh, you could get by with a broom, but, but picking stuff up off the ground is great. We don't have a dog, so... <laughs> That's it. But hopefully that's helpful to somebody who's bought one of these and doesn't know how to clean it out properly or has seen diminished performance over time. I think that's that's primarily the the biggest thing. But but I I've got a this is the other vacuum that I have from Makita. It's not nearly as good as a plug-in vacuum. However, it is much better than a plug-in vacuum in the sense that it is so easy to move around that you're more inclined to use it. Nobody wants to go get a 15 gallon compressor and lug it across the house and plug it in when you have a little bit of a problem, but a little machine like this is just, just super handy to have. And again, it runs off of the you know typical 18 volt system. So, well that's it. Hope you guys are having a good weekend. Thanks for watching.